Are you ready for a new beginning? A crazy Inauguration Day story sets the stage for another energizing morning prayer time. A presidential inauguration marks the beginning of a new president and a new era. But as with any new beginning, it often comes loaded with new problems and challenges to overcome. A massive storm brought eight inches of snow to Washington, D.C. on the day of John F. Kennedy's inauguration. The national airport was shut down, preventing former President Herbert Hoover from attending the celebration. Over 1,400 cars were stranded along the parade route, prompting the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to quickly coordinate a massive and difficult effort to clear the roads. And the dazzling glare reflecting off the snow caused poet Robert Frost to squint at the poem he had prepared for the inauguration ceremony. He stumbled over the first few lines before reciting a different poem from memory instead. Then in the confusion, the 86-year-old poet incorrectly dedicated his tribute to the president-elect Mr. John Finley. It didn't get any better when JFK took the stage. When he began his address, a short circuit caused smoke to pour out from the lectern. You must have a hot speech, <laughs> Dwight Eisenhower jokingly whispered to his successor. But in the end, of course, all these challenges were overcome and John F. Kennedy was sworn in as president, a new beginning. Today, God has an energizing message for us about new beginnings and the challenges we face. So let's dive into the Word of God, led by the Spirit of God, using the Lord's Prayer as our guide to energize us with His praise, purpose, peace, and purity. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. We praise you, Lord, as the beginning of all things. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. Let's spend a moment here reminding ourselves that all things begin with God, not us or our problems or our passions. May your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, as you have said and as we have heard from the beginning, love means doing what you have commanded us to do, and you have commanded us to love one another. Let's pause here a moment and reflect who has God planned from the beginning for us to love today? Give us this day our daily bread. When we think about the problems and challenges we must overcome, we cannot see the whole scope of your work from beginning to end. But we know that you have planned eternity in our hearts and make everything beautiful in its time. Let's pause here and reflect and give God our problems, trusting the scope of his work from beginning to end in our lives. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, from the beginning, your message has been proclaimed in the authority of your name to all the nations, that there is forgiveness of sins for all who repent. And let's pause here and reflect, what sin is God inviting us to repent of today in order to experience the joy he intended from the beginning? Thank you for this time, Lord, to energize us as we praise you as the beginning of all things, and with purpose as we live into your plan from the beginning to share your love with somebody, and with peace as we give you our problems, trusting the scope of your work from beginning to end, and with purity 
as we repent of our sin in order to experience the joy you intended for us from the beginning. For yours, Lord, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. If you want a transcript of today's prayer or email updates of future prayers, just click the link below or go to lordsprayerday.com.